Hey guys, welcome back to Electro Horde. And today we're gonna to talk about a different subject, which is radioactivity in vintage watches. This is a trench watch from around 1920. I collect watches and this is one of the watches in my collection. And the trench watch was a type of watch that came into use by the military during the World War I. And pocket, wa pocket watches were not very practical during the war, obviously, so this was some kind of transitional design between a pocket watch and a wristwatch, okay? One interesting feature about most of these watches is the fact that they used radium to paint the dial, uh, mostly a substance called Undark, which is the trade name for luminous paint made with both radium and zinc. Uh, and it was produced between 1917 and 1938. So, uh, Undark was used primarily in watch dials to make them glow in the dark. And, but radium is, as we know today, radioactive and it's not safe. So, most of the people working in this industry, industry who applied the radioactive paint on this dial later became known as the Radium Girls because many of them were women and they end up becoming ill because they used to point their, brush, their brushes on their lips to give them a fine tip and be able to paint this numeral. So all these numerals you see in this yellow-orange color, this is all undark, which is radium and zinc. Also, the hands, this yellow part, this yellow-orange part, that part that you see on the hands, are also radium and zinc, which is called Undark. So, radioactive watches are actually more common than you guys think because they were made until the 70s. So it's not uncommon to find vintage watches and other kinds of instruments uh, that are radioactive, radioactive. But the question is, is it really safe to have this kind of watches and to wear these watches? Well, let's get a Geiger counter and find out. So guys, what we have here is a Geiger counter. This one is from Gamma Scout. This is a pretty common Geiger counter and it's pretty precise. And the interesting thing about this Geiger counter is that you can actually set it to measure both alpha, beta and gamma, only gamma radiation and also beta and gamma radiation. It works by placing a different shield here on the top of the Geiger Miller tube, which is the sensor that actually detects the radiation. So here, as you can see, it's completely open, so we can measure all three different particles. Here, it places a pretty thick shield, so it only measures gamma radiation. And in this position, it actually puts a pretty thin shield, so it only measures beta and gamma radiation, right? So we'll leave it open for now. We'll put it back on here. So you guys can clearly see the screen. Right now, it only, it's only measuring background radiation. This is normal, point, point, around 0 0.2 microsieverts per hour. It's right now reading 0.25. So here we have the watch, right? And we'll do some measurements to see how safe it is. So first we'll measure both alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. And since we usually wear a watch like this, right? So we'll measure from the back of the watch, we'll place the back of the watch there and see if we get any different, any different reading with the watch on top of the radiation detector. So let's put it this way. Let's wait for, for a minute for the reading to settle. And you can see that there's mostly no change. It's still measuring what it was measuring before, which is background radiation, right? So now let's try something different. Let's try to put the watch to put the watch like this, because when we measure radiation from the back, which is the correct way to measure, because that's how we usually wear a watch like this. So, the dial, the the radioactive paint is here on the dial. So the dial itself, the movement, the strap, the case of the watch act as a shield. So most of the radiation won't go through, and actually went through the back of the watch, through our skin. So 
Now let's measure like this. So we only have the crystal on top and this way we should get some reading. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see right now, the, the, it, it, the, the measurement is climbing. We are getting some reading and that's because now the, radio, the radium paint only and the radioactive, radioactive particles only have to go through the crystal, right? So this is not the best way to measure because no one wears a watch like this, right? And even if they did this kind of measurement, it's like it's just a little above background radiation, probably what, probably the kind of radiation that you would get inside an airplane on a flight. So it's not dangerous at all. But there's something else that we can do because right now we're measuring alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. And alpha and beta radiation are not really dangerous unless you ingest the substance and it reaches inside your body. So what we are mostly worried here right now when we are measuring radiation from a watch is gamma radiation because this is the most dangerous one which has the most penetrating power to actually reach structures inside our body. So there's not much sense in measuring again like this because if we couldn't measure anything before, right now that we are only measuring gamma radiation, we also won't measure anything. So we'll just get background, background radiation like we're getting now. But now let's try to flip the watch and put the dial facing down, which is not the way we wear a watch. But let's try to see if we get any reading like this. Let's wait for a minute. And once again, we're just getting background normal radiation. So this is just to show you guys that, it's, that it is not in any way dangerous to wear a radioactive watch like this. It's completely safe. No gamma radiation will, will reach your body. Uh, especially in no alpha and beta too because we wear a watch like this so our skin is already protected by the the case the movement and the strap and even if we did want to wear the watch like this which makes no sense still we wouldn't be getting any, any gamma radiation uh, penetrating in our skin as we just measured we would mostly be getting some beta radiation which is not that harmful and at this kinds of levels which are very very low still are not dangerous at all okay that's it guys thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you like the video you can comment below and please leave your like and i'll see you back on our next episode thank you very much and bye bye